this is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Now I already have my app made and I just added a burger. Ah, it makes me bounce. In the last challenge, obviously I'm not awesome at the game. Let's see. Add new animation. Give your game a custom theme by giving your sprite new animations. You can draw your own or create your space uh, or create some in game lab. Give your character a new animation. You can even create a left or right facing animation. Give the platforms a new animation. Give collectibles a new animation. Cool. We can make this our own. So I'm just literally going to click animation and we have platforms. What I'll do is I'm going to, by the way, that's my lose animation. Um, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to pick a new, well, platform. Hmm. Maybe are they an environment? Aha. Oh, I definitely want these. We'll do the flat gray ones. And what we can do is I'm going to delete this, right? This platform. And my game's going to freak out. I can show you right away. Watch. Oh, no, I ruined everything. What I have to do, though, is I haven't ruined everything. I just need to make sure to find the variable. And this variable is platforms. And then we take the platforms variable and we assign it the animation. So I just need to make sure to update what animation. And I think the one I just picked was ground stone broken. And let's see. Oh, I'm going to refresh my page. Sometimes it does this. Oh, and I have two of them. So make sure you get them both. You saw what was happening to me. Boom. Now they're huge. So I will need to adjust the scale. Luckily for me, I already have scale dragged out right here. So I'm going to go with, let me reset this. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but maybe 0 0.2. And that even might be too big. Keep in mind, 0 0.2 would be 20% the regular size. Nope, that's way too small. So maybe 0 0.35. I'll try. And that's looking better. I might actually go up to four, I guess. Great. Okay, so now we have new platforms. And I already have my sprite turning, right? But I want to make sure they turn when they lose, too. So I give them this losing animation. So now, hmm, actually, I'm going to leave my losing one alone. Um, but let's do... So it says, how many other animations do we got? Um, I got my reward. We have stars, of course. When they generate. Um, and we can change our character. There's so much stuff we can do. So with a one for a star background, much more visible, but I'm actually gonna change them as well. And so I can just click add here. And um, I don't know, how about a, a carrot and then a beet? Perfect. And so now I can go back here and I can just replace, again, I'll leave these variable names the same, otherwise I have to change them all throughout my code. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this a carrot and this guy a beet, and they're probably huge. Whoa, that's craziness, right? So what I can do though, once again, is mess with the scale right here. So. If you don't have that, go to sprites and drag out scale. And I don't know, 0 0.1 maybe, teeny tiny. Trying to make them so they make sense of the game. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. That carrot's too small though. So maybe the carrot needs to be 2.5. That's looking good. And maybe I need the beat even smaller. And you're just going to have to adjust this to a point that you are liking it. Cool. So I've got, I've added a bunch of sprites. Give platforms a new creation. Give collectibles new. You can even uh, create left and right facing animation. So we already did that for our main character right here. And if you have not, how you do that is you duplicate it. And here's frame one, I would just turn or mirror actually, boom, and boom. And then uh, just to kind of prove to you that I'm changing this. Okay, so now I'll call this alien left. And that way I know which one it is alien right, alien left. And what we can do is you want to go into where you're making the movement occur. So that would be update sprites. No, it wouldn't player fall. Nope. Control player, right? So when we're controlling the player, so I'm going to scroll down here, platform, sloop, player fall, control player. And this is where I added my player set animation, alien left, 
right? So, or I can switch to that animation I just did. And then you also need to switch in your right to the right animation as well. And what that will do is every time you hit left, well, it will change this sprite's animation. You're going to use your player variable, but change its picture to what we just did, the mirrored version, right? And same thing, every time you click right, it will change it up as well. Sweet. We have customized sprites. Onward.